Kim from Stoked On Printing. We're based in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, we do screen printing, embroidery, heat press, DTG, laser applications, and all that stuff. Uh, we do a lot of contract stuff. So through just being in the decorator networks on uh, Sanmar, Alpha Broder, and just building relationships with them and seeing them more as our customer so that then once you build the relationships with those reps, uh, when their customers get a question on a project, they say, hey, go to Stoked On Printing because they're familiar with you, uh, they know exactly what you're doing, and it helps them out just as much as it helps us out. Retaining customers is a very hard thing, and one thing we're working on right now is just working on the onboarding process. I feel like a lot of shops do not have an onboarding process, and we haven't had one really uh, that's written down so that we can say, hey, uh, ex, you know, employee, you know, we got this new lead, this is how we're going to onboard them, you know, it's going to take this long, uh, you need to give them these documents and things like that. So I feel like the first two to three weeks of a customer re relationship is so critical that that's going to then either springboard you into them being a long-term customer or them going to find somebody else because they're already in the market to find somebody. So if you're not really wowing them in that first couple weeks, uh, I find that they're going to go find somebody else. What do you wish you'd known when you started? <laughs> I wish I would have had a more direct goal. I wish I would have sat down and had a more thoughtful way of what success looks like and what happens when you reach success and what's the next step, you know, what do you plan on doing next? So right now, you know, when we really started, I've really hit a lot of my goals that I set out, but they're very surface level. And now I'm kind of going through like a slight identity crisis. I'm, okay, what's the next step? You know, what do I want out of life? And what do I want our shop to be known for and the impact we're gonna bring to people? I always tell everybody our, uh, the CTS is hands down the best piece of equipment we've ever bought. It was a game changer the second it brought in. I told everybody that's coming to our shop, I will pull a squeegee before I print another piece of film. It's terrible for the environment. It's a time robber. Uh, it has the pre-registration units are just not there just pony up and just like invest into a CTS and you'll be very happy. Uh, what do you think the biggest challenge is for Stoked on Printing this year? It's always growth, you know, and, and understanding what the customer wants and being more strategic on, on the customer profile that we're looking for. So what does that person look like? What do they want? And really honing in on that because then you're able to talk specifically to them and you're able to make uh, services and products that really serve them. Um, because when you're starting out, I feel like you, you have to pay your screen guy, you have to pay all these things, so you're gonna take in a lot of work, but as you grow to being more strategic on who you're talking to is becoming more and more of a driving theme uh, with my partner and I. What are you most excited about in the industry right now? We're really gun ho on digital. I think digital is the, one of the coolest things that's happening. Um, and the technology side. I think with screen printing uh, industry, like the technology side's always kind of lag behind where you have some people that are doing some really cool space and really cool things in the space with tying in technology to the art of, you know, decorating apparel. As in the next five years, we're gonna see some really, really cool things when it comes to digital and how that's gonna affect uh, the overall market. Is there anything that like scares you or worries you about either the industry or your business right now? Like keeps you up at night, you know? Inside of the uh, promotional product world, is in, and that's who we service a lot with our contract customers, there's a lot of uh, consolidation into like single invoice solutions. So you have uh, people like Alpha Broder, they're doing decorating, hit promotions, they're doing a lot of apparel and a lot of that stuff. And that's really gonna start to squeeze a lot of the smaller contract screen printing shops because some of these customers that are coming into the space or uh, people who want a little more simplified process, they're going to go to these companies to get the apparel and the printing put together. Um, and so I think that's gonna be another change we're gonna see within the next five to 10 years is how does the contract world look like and at this point, maybe there's a whole nother customer base that needs to be serviced through that. So uh, that'll be very interesting to see. Yeah. Are you thinking about higher labor costs and like the kind of ongoing worker shortage in the industry? And are you addressing that? Or is that something that, that is, 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 a, is a sticking point? You know, staffing is always hard. Uh, however, we always pay much above you know, the market rate in our area. And we also have a really, a lot of long-term employees. Uh, within our culture, you know, people will come in uh, and we're very loose, and we're, but we're very accountable. So like, you have to be very accountable to what you're doing. And there's some people who really like that type of structure and there's some people who don't. So usually within a couple weeks, people we kind of figure out, hey, is this gonna work out or is this not? Um, and then we have a lot of people who then stay with us for a really long time because they 
uh, adapt to that structure. So as we continue to scale, it does become harder and harder because we have to fill out that team and the team becomes a lot bigger. Sure. You, you talked about culture and like accountability. What is the, what is like ideally stoked on printing's culture kind of look like, feel like, you know, what, can you talk more about that? It's pretty easy going. There's not people yelling at people, you know, to get things done. It's more so, hey, you know, you have the responsibility in yourself to fulfill your position. If you're doing that, then everything's fine and we're, we're good. But, you know, when those things are not being taken care of, uh, that's when we have meetings and that's when we have, you know, some, maybe some employee turnovers. And we very rarely fire anybody. You know, it's, it's people generally are like, hey, it's not really a fit anymore and they kind of move on. So it's uh, something, uh, you know, going back to uh, things that we were focusing on, you know, culture is a very big thing, you know, and I think culture is, it cannot be forced. It's just really looking inward and saying like, who who is Kevin Oakley? Like, and who is Shane Snodgrass? Who's our, my co-owner? You know, who are we? And, you know, uh, because we're driving that just by being who we are, you know? And so recognizing that and then honing in on that. What's the hardest part of, of running a screen printing business? I don't know, how long is this video? <laughs> <laughs> I'd say it's constantly changing. The constant need to learn new techniques, the constant need to uh, do those things are, is a very challenging. And it's where a lot of shops get left behind is when you stop innovating, you're just dying, you know? And so there's always something new out there. There's always a new technique. So I find that's really challenging, you know, because you have to not only learn the technique, but you also have to learn how to sell it. And you also have to learn who are you selling that to yeah. and how does that fit? with them you know so that's it's the not only just having the equipment and having the technique now how do you package that together and say hey XYZ customer we're now doing this and this is why it benefits you and this is why you should use it what was like the coolest or best thing like the kind of big wow moment or memory from last year I'd say probably like some of the coolest things has come through like uh, technology you know we were not we were mostly just a contract printer um, and that's kind of how we viewed ourselves and then eventually we said hey we're more than this we can be more than this within the last year I'd say the last the biggest wow moment was saying like if we can learn how to do screen printing we can learn how to build software we can learn how to uh, see how technology can help our customers and really package that together uh, with what we already knew with screen printing and uh, other decoration techniques and uh, really just like provide more of a service and increase our value so we're not being commoditized you know we can we can charge what we need to do within reason but we're not bottom of the barrel we're not scraping by we're, we're actually able to hold our ground on our pricing and say listen yes we, we know we're, we're more expensive but you know we are going to provide this value to you that's more than money can you know really give you awesome man appreciate it well yeah I'm stoked on Kevin Kevin's from stoked <laughs> on printing all right thanks <laughs> cool man